Okay, guys, uh, welcome to your love reading while my ex come back. Uh, this is going to be for Taurus. Uh, you can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for June 2022. Uh, so these are the Taurans that are currently entertaining the idea of reconciling with an ex or an ex wanting to reconcile with you, or perhaps both of you guys are wanting that. Um, so we're going to take a look at your mutual energies between you and your ex. And then we will see what happened between you guys in the past that caused separation. And then we'll finish off the read to see if there's going to be reconciliation between you two. Uh, apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. Um, keep in mind that these are general messages. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on um, when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, what else? Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Taurus people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right, so Taurus, let's get started. Uh, current neutral energies between Taurus and the X for um, June 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Taurus. Um, so even though I'm asking about the current mutual energies, it could be a situation where only one of you guys is feeling this way. So just apply this to your own unique situation, like I said, okay? Um, all right, let's see. I'm going to make them jump out. So we have the tower and the um, high priestess, tower, Aries, energy, Scorpio, energy, high priestess, cancer, Pisces. We have the four of cups and the ten of pentacles. We have the king of swords, the six of cups, and the six of swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, energy. Seems like we have someone here that wants another opportunity here. <sighs> no, I feel like someone here is realizing that they should have trusted their intuition uh, uh, regarding you or re regarding a relationship here. It seems like someone here is stuck on you. Yeah, someone here is unable to move on from you. It seems like, like I said, someone here is looking for another opportunity, looking to make you an offer or something like that. Someone here is trying to make someone an offer. Either you're trying to make someone an offer, your person is, maybe both of you guys are trying to make each other an offer, but it seems like someone here realized that they should have trusted their intuition here. Um, because I feel like someone here is seeing that there can be prosperity here between you and your person. Ace of Pentacles, we have the Page of Cups. Seems like someone here wants to come forward with an offer here. I'm getting a situation that someone here feels like they should have done this before. You know, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Tell me about the Four of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. Tell me about the uh, Ten of Pentacles. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Seems like someone here walked away. Walked away because they were uncertain. They were unsure. I feel like they were going back and forth. So we're playing mind games here with themselves. They were playing mind games here with you, I feel. Yeah, I feel like someone here is really in their head about this, going back and forth. Uh, yeah, I just feel like someone here maybe then they didn't think before they acted and they walked away and they feel like this person whoever this person is this is someone who's kicking themselves in the head right now uh, perhaps you are like i said you can switch the roles if you want king of swords we got the four of wands six of cups we got the queen of cups six of swords and the king of pentacles here someone here could have gone towards someone else it seems like we have two different kings here 
let's see. We have the Four of Wands and the King of Swords. We have the Six of Cups and the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then we have the Six of Swords, the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is your energy right here. Could be a situation that Taurus, if you're this king here, someone here is making plans to go back towards a queen here. Okay, uh, we do have the four of wands. This is telling me that you do, you guys do have a strong soul tie with the six of cups here. Okay, seems like someone here wants to go back towards someone. Um, tell me what happened between Taurus and their ex that caused the separation here. What happened between Taurus and their ex that caused the separation here? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for June 2022. We have the, um, I think that was the Empress that jumped out. And then we have the Knight of Cups. Alright, so the Empress and the Knight of Cups. Libra, Taurus, Energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces with that Knight of Cups. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Queen of Wands. I do feel like there were other people in the picture here. Look at all these different feminine energies that are jumping out. Seems like someone here, out of nowhere, dropped you to be with someone else. I feel like someone here didn't think. I feel like someone here saw like a very handsome person or a very pretty person and they just went towards that person. Yeah. Three of Swords. Yeah, it just seems like there were other people involved. Seems like this person ended up breaking their own heart, I feel. I feel like this person was in love with you. I feel like this... The third party that this person went towards, it didn't really hold a can they didn't really hold a candle towards you. You, it, you just didn't compare. Yeah, you just didn't compare. Maybe the sex was really good, but the emotional part was not there. So I do feel like this person now is looking back at you, sort of like and looking back at their actions and sort of like really kicking themselves in the head. Tell me about the Empress. We have temperance, Sagittarius energy. I feel like you were really patient with this person, um, Taurus. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. You could be dealing with another Taurus here. We have the Fool. So Aries energy could also be Aquarius energy. And then we have the Lovers here, Gemini energy. I feel like this person's realizing that, that they had something really great with you and they feel like they really screwed up. Yeah, I feel like this person just was non-committal at some point. Uh, we have the star card and the ten, ten of wands. Yeah, I just feel like this person was out there just counting the stars instead of focusing on you. Well, this person had a bit of a wandering eye. They wandered off and now they are perhaps regretting it. Tell me about the queen of wands. We have justice. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like this person went into a karmic situation. Yeah. So I feel like they're learning their lessons now. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Libra energy with that Justice card. Three of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It just seems like someone here acted very impulsively. Ace of Cups. And then we have the Four of Swords. This is interesting because I feel like this person fell in love with you and I feel like this person didn't mean to fall in love with you or that they didn't want to be in love with you, but at the same time, they did. Yeah, it just seems like you guys had an undeniable soul connection here. And I feel like, you know, someone here just messed it up by choosing someone else. Uh, will there be reconciliation between uh, Taurus and their ex? We the two of wands and the eight of wands. It seems like someone here is deciding on communication. Could be a situation that someone here might be deciding to complete, might be deciding to completely drop this. Okay. We have the six of wands in the reverse. So this is an indication that I feel like Taurus, you're in this energy of feeling like if you were to reconcile with this individual, I feel like you feel it won't be successful. And you'd rather be alone right now with the Nine of Pentacles and just focus on your pentacles here. Virgo energy, pre-Empress energy. 
All right, we have the Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I just feel like you feel like this person is just going to lie to you again. So it could be a situation with the Wheel of Fortune that you're learning your lessons here and you're making some changes here for yourself, uh, Taurus. Tell me about the two wands. We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. This is something that you don't want to put any more effort into this. Yeah, but I feel like the other person is trying to decide whether to communicate with you or not. Weighing, in, weighing in the pros and the cons. Let's say if this person did communicate with you, you're weighing the pros and the cons, whether you want to communicate, but I don't think you're going to communicate with this person. Tell me about the Six of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I just feel like you're moving on from this. Yeah, I just feel like you will, You feel like it won't be successful or that it, the same thing is going to happen again with, with the lies here and the deception. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Two of Swords. Seems like you're like blocking this person out, um, Taurus. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're just cutting this out. You, you just don't have time for this anymore. Seems like you've been in a constant hamster wheel, a loop with this individual here. Yeah, it seems like this person is trying to come back around. Yeah, someone here is trying to approach you. But I feel like you're expecting the same thing from this individual. Yeah, I just we have Taurus energy, the higher fit here. Um, it just seems like right now you're in this energy of doing the right thing for yourself. I do feel like someone here is definitely trying to come back in, trying to offer you some sort of commitment here. Okay, but you're not trusting this individual. So, um, Taurus, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.